What's up everyone? The Jupyter Notebook 7 will be released soon and it will bring a lot of new features that are awesome. And make sure you stick to the end because you'll love the last one. I can confirm yet the release date of the Notebook 7 but make sure you subscribe because I will make a video as soon as it is out. Now let's jump into the first one which is the new UI. You can see here in the file system page that it has already a new design. And here let's upload the Jupyter Notebook from a loan repayment prediction project that is in the channel and let's open. So here you can also see that it has a new design and to me it seems pretty cool. Let me know in the comments if you like it. Now about the table of content. Where can you find it? So if you go to here, view and then left sidebar show table of contents. You can see here the new built-in table of contents. It allows you to navigate by the sidebar to the sections where you have your code, in this case, your titles in the markdowns. It works just like in JupyterLab or the extension in NB extensions. And we can test this by adding subtitles like this one. And you can see that this is updated right away. You can use this button to collapse and expand all the headings and you can navigate to them. About the feature for the real-time collaboration. With Notebook 7, you can share your notebook with other users and edit it in real time. In this case, all we can do is to share and then we, you include the URL token, then you copy the link. Now, if we paste this link in an incognito window, let's see. It seems that we can access our Jupyter Notebook. But for now, in this use case, we can see real-time collaboration for now. For now, there is no real-time collaboration in this view that I'm using right now. But I'll make a tutorial in the future as soon as this is available. Now let's talk about another awesome feature which is the built-in debugger. It will be possible to set breakdowns and inspect variables on Notebook 7. And for that you need to click Enable Debugger. You'll see a change in the cells. You can now set breakpoints and this will be active. You can also go to View, then right sidebar and show debugger. Here you can see the variables, the call stack, breakpoint, source and kernel sources. And let's test it. Let's put a breakpoint here. I will run this code about for loops. And now let's run this cell. As you can see the breakpoint is working. Here you can debug your variables, for example, you can see the company is Google and the high is 1.1. And here we have the breakpoint. And you can use the call stack buttons to keep interacting with the debugger. And that's pretty cool on Jupyter Notebook. Once you finish debugging, you can close the view, remove the breakpoint, and disable the debugger. Another feature is the internationalization. With the internationalization, you will be able to set the user interface display in another language. For that, you'll need to install the language package as a separate Python package. And it seems you have already a lot of language in the Jupyter Lab. I'll make a tutorial video with these in the future to show how can you install your favorite language in Notebook 7. After the installation, all you need to do is go to Settings, Language, and select the language that you installed. Now, the last feature, Teaming. This is one of the most awaited features in Jupyter Notebook and with it, it brings the dark mode. That's right, Notebook 7 will support teams and the dark mode will be the default one. And we will also be able to install other Jupyter Lab teams. To select a team, go to Settings, Team and then you can select one of these, Light, Dark and Night. Let's try it out. So this is the dark one, which seems pretty cool and if we select the night one, it's also pretty cool. Not sure what is the one that I enjoyed the most. 
Besides the team, if you go here, you can also decrease the code font size, the content font size and the UI font size. Now, don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to know how to install and use Jupyter Notebook 7, because I will make a video about it as soon as it is available. See you in the next video, peace out.